What is going on guys? Today we are going to unwrap a Titan T-Bar Row Review. Titan is a really cheap but typically good gym equipment. I know a lot of people wanna know what we use in the gym, what tools that you can get, what you can buy that is actually effective. So we're gonna unwrap it, we're gonna break it down, build it, then I'm gonna train with it. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the T-Bar Row, let you know what I think, let's get into it. Yes, kind of fucking opened it for me. All right. It's quite the instructions manual. One page. It's like one of those books, instructions for dummies. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. We have leg extensions Titan right there. We have that, which I like. It's a seated leg curl, leg extension. We have a neutral grip bar and a safety bar from Titan. Nothing else from Titan. So, obviously I'm not affiliated with Titan, so I can really say whatever I want about them. I think Titan is great for people who are getting garage gyms or have small facilities that not that many people train in. Here, it's like us and a few people. We don't have a lot of people coming in and out training here unless they are literally with me. At a public gym, I might be leery about some of the tight stuff. I'm just gonna throw that out there now because it is not the most heavy duty. Like we have a lot of Rogue or Sornex, Assault. That shit's heavy duty, Elite FTS. You can, you can bang it up quite a bit. So if you have hundreds of people going to the gym using it, you don't gotta worry about it. Titan is known to not be that way, but I haven't had any issues with anything so far. So we'll see how the T-Bar row is. But I am stoked to finally have one of these things. I actually think that a seated cable row, a seal row, or a T-bar row, which are all kind of different, a barbell bent row would be there in there too, but all of them are heavy loaded horizontal rows. I think it should be a staple compound lift. We have the bench squat deadlift, which are the known compound lifts that everybody's trying to progressively overload over time, but they forget how important the posterior chain is. If your horizontal row improves, all of those lifts improve. Add to that, most of us are gen pop people who don't compete in anything. We just want to look good and feel good. You should definitely be rowing really heavy, but this is a movement that is really nice because if your chest is supported, you don't have to worry about your low back in a bent position. You don't have to have a huge cable machine like that over there. You can do a seal row, which has been my go-to compound lift. Lift a bench up on a couple boxes, put a barbell underneath, and you're just rowing into the bench. It's amazing. This is just gonna save us from having to create that crazy contraption with all the stuff. But point being, horizontal row, really important for health, posture, performance, aesthetic, strength, all that. You should be doing some kind of it for a compound lift. Unless I'm just stupid, there's not like a step one. I'm not a huge Ikea guy, just like a bunch of letters. I guess we're just winging it. <laughs> it literally doesn't even tell you like. Okay, so review point number one, their instructions suck. <laughs> I mean like, I'm assuming this is the bottom one. Does that shit go on the bottom one? That's gotta go on the top. One page with pictures a printed ruler on it. I mean, I guess that's helpful. The only writing on here says chest supported row. I was aware of that. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And now we have a bag of bolts with no labels or indications of what, what bolts are what. I mean, but hey, it's 250 bucks. That's not the most expensive T-bar row. It's actually the cheapest one I could find online. I mean, I'm, I'm rounding up or down, but it definitely wasn't 300, and I know it wasn't less than 250. And I ordered that $300 treadmill I told you about. It's like walking like this on the treadmill. Ridiculous. So I guess we gotta be pretty intuitive with the bolts. Pick a bolt that looks big enough, shove it in a hole, <laughs> screw it, and you'll get the job done. Does everything need a washer or? Look at the, the bearing in there. What is that? What is going on here? Uh, hopefully either 
A, there's a wrench in that bag, or B, we randomly have a good wrench here. I guess I just assumed it would come with that too, but maybe not. See if the wrench god blessed us with the right sizes. No. No. Look at that. Because it's a good thing they took the visibility of the dislike button off of this, because I'm sure every Titan employee is going to be disliking this at first. But if you're not a Titan employee, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we'll keep dropping great videos for you every single week. And who knows, I might review another piece of equipment soon. This might motivate me to make the gym better and better. And if anybody has a leg press, an affordable but durable leg press, leave a comment, tell us what it is, where it is. I really want one for the gym, but most leg presses are massive and I don't want a commercial size lifetime fitness style leg press machine it takes up half the area in here. You know who the the goat builder was? The Keller Keenan. Repair man, 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 man. From all that, you remember that? 90s kids. Shout out to all the guys and girls from the 90s. I was complaining a lot, but honestly, it's really not that bad. That's so explanatory. I'm a pretty big dummy when it comes to building stuff, so if I can do it, I'm sure you can. Big nutrition guy. Huge nutrition. What's the ruler on here for? I almost assumed it was like, oh, that's how we tell what bolts are what, because I see bolts two, three, four, but are they numbered after the inches? All right, we officially have the shaft fully implanted. That looks very vertical. Outside of trying to figure out what bolts go where, it's not too bad. These guys. Thanks to their uh, labeling system, I have three different sized bolts. I'm looking at this as if like this is gonna tell me the answer. <laughs> like this is like a horrible instruction manual. It says there's only two of them. Now we don't have a big enough wrench. That's what we get. Officially done, only missing one bolt. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but the build really wasn't that bad. I was bitching and complaining, but pretty easy to put together. Not too many parts. The instructions, I will say, were horrible. One star on that part. Uh, no labeling for bolts or anything, which made it kind of confusing to figure out which bolts went in the right holes. But other than that, seems good. Seems pretty sturdy. I'm stoked to use it. So I'm gonna go change. Then we are going into a chest and back workout today. So I'm actually gonna use it. So we'll go through some exercise with it and then I'll give my thoughts as far as uh, how I like it. Let's get it. Today we got three sets of eight to 10 after a couple warm-up sets. So I'm really just gonna go through, do three, four, five sets, working up to a heavy load. Once I get through a full few sets and I can really feel it out and test it out, try both grips, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on the actual piece of equipment as far as usability. And then you guys can make the best judgment of whether or not you wanna get the Titan T-Bar row. Damn. I'm gonna die if you only can use it with Titan plates. <laughs> Dude. I don't know if there's something wrong with that a little bit. So we plate number three. There we go. First point. If you're gonna put this together, the instructions say nothing about sizing. I'm 5'9 and I can barely reach it. So like this is not how it should look. 
My hand should be down here. But these holes down here, I'm assuming they're for shorter people, but I'm very average, so just know that that's what those holes are for. Nowhere on the instructions will it tell you that, but you might want to do that. So I'm going to get some kind of booster <laughs> to lift me up a little bit, and then I'm going to have to redo the handlebars next time I come to the gym. It could be a good piece of equipment if they spent a little more effort on the instructions. about an hour putting this together I'm gonna set up my seal row with the bench and the barbell because I can't even fucking reach the handles again I'm not a short I man I'm really not I mean am I short I don't think I'm that short I feel like I'm a very average human being I am on my tippy toes literally and I can just grab the bottom of it a t-bar row should comfortably be able to get my lats I can't even grab top handles maybe you'll see another video from me where I'm using it effectively in like a training vlog or something if the handles were down there it'd be a lot easier to grab otherwise it's just very difficult to feel like in a good position. It's a little wobbly, it's not too bad. Unfortunately, the handles are missing one bolt <laughs> because they didn't label them, so I couldn't put that on. So overall, I've never had a bad experience with Titan. I'm just gonna throw that out there, but this one isn't the best. I think it could be better. Uh, if they gave better instructions for the actual equipment, you'd be able to build it to fit you more easily. Otherwise, I don't think it's a bad piece of equipment for a garage gym, for a small gym. For a gym like this, it's just gonna take me a few times of rebuilding it essentially, which is very frustrating. But overall, the T-Bar Row is an amazing exercise. It's an amazing compound lift for a lot of gym pop people, so I definitely recommend it. If you have a garage gym, I probably would recommend this over spending a thousand plus dollars on a normal T-Bar Row machine. However, if you own a big public gym or you have a lot of people coming in and out, I probably would upgrade and get a more expensive piece of equipment. That's my review on the Titan T-Bar Row. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let us know if you want us to review any other types of equipment. We have a lot of stuff in here that I can review, and I also will be buying new things for the gym. So if you have any ideas, drop a comment below. Otherwise, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you can keep updated with all the videos we drop in the coming weeks.